Hey guys, what's up? Introspection here. So, let me start out by explaining the title of this video. See, a few decades ago, most of us relied on horse-drawn carriages to get around. But, as you can tell by looking outside your window, we don't do that anymore because cars are now a thing. And because of that, horse the job of being a, a horse-drawn carriage driver, I don't know if that's the official term, but that's the one I'm using, became obsolete. The reason this video is called Repeating History is because those industrial jobs that replaced the previous jobs are also now becoming obsolete, and are likely not to be available within the next uh, 10, 20, 15, 30 years, give or take, of course. Fortunately, though, knowing that a lot of us rely on the industrial jobs still available to support ourselves and or families, I have been given some information from some rather intellectual individuals to share with you guys. Now, of course, I'm not telling you guys what you can, cannot, should, or should not do. But what I am doing is trying to make this option known to you and make sure you guys know it's an availability in case you are in one of those jobs that are likely to be gone within the next 10, 20, 30 years. So, as I said before, industrial jobs, they're going bye-bye. But I also did say within the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years, which just might give you just enough time to go to college and get an associate's degree and become an electromechanical technician. And essentially what these guys do is, as you guys know, there are robots replacing people building cars and such. Of course, somebody makes, needs to make sure that the robots still work. This is that job, making sure those robots still work. And it does only require an associate's degree. Now, I'm sure if anybody knows anything about college, you guys are asking, wait a minute, getting an associate's degree usually only takes two years, and he's telling me it's going to barely cover 10, 15 years. This doesn't make any sense in math. Well, the reason I say that is because a lot of us, even, even going to a community college, find getting an associate's degree rather, well, expensive. But... If you spread out those classes between a longer period of time than two years, then it might be easier for one to afford such classes. A uh, quick side note though, if you need to take a loan, I highly rec recommend doing everything you can to not have to take a loan within more on legal confines, of course. But if you need to, make sure you at the very least pay the interest of the loan while you're in college so that it is not a massive amount to pay once you're out of college. But back to electrical, electromechanical technicians. You get your associate's degree and they make about 55000 over $55,000 a year or over $26 per hour as you can see on the screen according to the National Bureau of Labor Statistics. And according to the SSA, the average American currently income for every year is forty six over $46,000. So... It's not a bad option to become an electromechanical technician. Now, of course, this is advice to be taken on a case-by-case -case basis. So, for instance, perhaps you don't need another job because you're going to retire within the next year, and it will be perfectly fine from the non, in which case you probably don't need to pay attention to this. But, regardless, I'm still just trying to make this option available to everybody. Now, that does conclude our video, so go ahead, subscribe, comment any other advice you have for these kind of people, and make sure to hit that bell so that you get my video in the next two weeks. But until then, hear nothing and listen to all. Bye guys.